Today, a, de a government delegation met with the representatives from the American, British, Canadian, and European missions in Guyana to explain our position on the vote of December 21st last. I was accompanied uh, by Vice President and Minister of Public Security, Cameron Dramatan, Minister of State, Joseph Harmon, and we explained fully uh, the government's position, that is, that we respect the Constitution and that we will uphold the Constitution. We remain the government of Guyana and carrying out the functions of the government under the Constitution. We are not aware of any provision in the Constitution for a caretaker government. In fact, we have been the government since we have been elected, and we continue to be the government until fresh elections are held and a new government would come into office. But we believe that the issues surrounding the vote have created a controversy and there are contentions on both sides as to what constitute a majority of all the elected members in the National Assembly. There are some advocates that said uh, that you needed 33 votes. Some others have said you need 34 votes to make a majority. Well, there is a contention here. And we believe that the promise made by the speaker that he would deal with the consequences of the vote should be allowed to take place in a manner that, uh, that gives the interpretation as regards the threshold of the Constitution. There are, of course, the uh, other argument that says that we should treat our house as if they had 66 members and divide it in two and you get 33. Well, we have only 65 members. But in any case, it's a contention. And we believe that we should need, apart from the speaker, if it becomes necessary, uh, that the courts should pronounce on the interpretation of this uh, uh, constitutional provision. Look, in 20. 11, we had a situation where the government had 32 seats and the opposition 33. After the 2015 elections, we had a situation where the government uh, has 33 seats and the opposition 32. We want to be able to settle this issue as to what constitutes under the Constitution a majority of all the elected members. And no amount of lobbying, no amount of, uh, of uh, politicking and the rhetorics out there that the government should resign, et cetera, et cetera, will resolve this. So this situation has presented us with some uh, great opportunities. And we believe that these opportunities should be uh, explore, explored to its fullest. Now, we presented the uh, a representative of the ABC and E countries with uh, legal opinions that were given to the government by, um, by experts, and we're hoping that the speaker would take these opinions into consideration in reviewing the, uh, the vote of the 21st of December. And that is what we want to meet the, uh, in this continuing en engagement with diplomats and civic society to assure them that this government will do nothing to jeopardize uh, a constitutional interpretation to serve uh, Guyana, Guyana's democracy, and also that we are committed to maintaining peace, law and order as we have done, and the stability of our country, and to continue the work for which we have been elected, that is to deliver services to the Guyanese people. So that is what today's meeting was all about.